This video will show you what's inside the BMO Boy gaming system. It starts off with a 3D printed backplate, and that is used to mount a Raspberry Pi Zero. This is held in place with some 11 millimeter standoffs, and on top of that is attached a custom Pi hat. So this is sort of the kitchen sink of the whole thing. It contains a USB hub that takes the one port from the Raspberry Pi Zero and turns it into four ports. It has a servo driver for driving two servos. It has a digital amplifier for the speakers. It has a composite video header and two headers for the GPIO pins to drive the front panel buttons in D-pad. To power BMO, we use a 3.7 volt LiPo battery and now this is held in place with a laser cut Delrin plate. So we can't power BMO with just 3.7 volts. We need 5 volts. In order to do that, we use a product from Adafruit called the PowerBoost 1000, which takes the 3.7 volts and brings it up to 5.25 volts. So we add a terminal block to the PowerBoost, and then that will connect to the Raspberry Pi Zero with an adapter cable. And then the unit is attached to the battery plate. And that takes care of the back panel. And now we move on to the main body, which is also 3D printed. And the first thing that's added is the 3.5 inch LCD screen, which is simply rotated into place, slid forward and up under the holding brackets. And then each of the front buttons is added. These are laser cut acrylic with little backing plates to keep them from sliding through. So now the buttons are held in place with another PCB that has seven tactile switches. It also has two front mounted USB micro ports as well, which will connect to the USB hub. Now this whole thing is slid into place and then fastened. And now a USB microphone is added as well. Now it comes time for the servos. A small PCB is added to the back with a power switch, a USB charging jack, two LEDs, one for power on and one for low power. And it also has an HDMI micro port if you want to connect to an external monitor. And this whole thing is just dropped in and screwed into place. And now the individual speakers are added to their cutouts. And some stylish BMO adhesive vinyl lettering is added. And now the arms are attached to the servos. The legs just snap into place. Now the back panel is attached with cabling to the various components and slid into place and attached with screws. And there you have it, the BMO gaming system.